What's up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have a Icarus Week 8 content update. We're going to do a real quick update video, kind of tell you about what all is included in this update. Um, basically, this week they were focusing more on the map and whatnot, which includes increasing the volume on caves and making it where you can actually mine a full mining node now. Uh, they did also mention something about this, the intro. Now, as many people didn't know, the intro is actually skippable, but it is a loading screen. So basically, once your computer loads the game, you could skip it. They did actually add a notification right here. Uh, as you can see here, we added a text notification. Once loading is complete, so you can press a key to skip the, the video. Also, they add in their article, they want to do an auto skip option here sometime in the near future uh, in the settings. They added more ores to cave. The reason why that is is because they wanted to try to make tier three and four a little bit easier for crafting. They wanted to make it a little bit easier. They they knew how it could kind of feel like a grind. So basically, they reduced the cost of several items in electronics, increased some, and added a lot more caves or added a lot more ores and whatnot to caves, as you see in this picture right here. They did uh, touch a little bit on how talent points, uh, the limit and respec, how they were going to plan on doing talent points in the future. They do plan on doing a respec, guys. We've known this for a while now. But they are trying to actually do it where they're not going to ruin the game. It's basically what they're trying to say. Uh, another item that they mentioned was inventory sorting. Basically, they want to be able to sort your inventory. Uh, they do plan on doing this as well. They do plan on letting you do a pickaxe and lantern. Or light source. Um, it says our plan to tackle this request is to add an entire new slot for your character inventory. This will allow you to, among other things, attach a lantern to your belt, ideal for mining in caves or at night, which is awesome. So basically, you'll be able to have some kind of light source out and mine here in the future. Fixed armor. Sometimes armor would poke through and block your view. They fixed that. Crops to outpost. Added mushrooms to Arctic caves. And this is what the mushrooms look like inside the cave. Right here's one, real close to the cave entrance. As you can see, it says mushroom. Of course, you can consume it for food, and it gives you maximum health. Increase quality of mineral deposits in many caves, increase overall availability of resources. Added first pass of new cave locations, so new lo cave locations are available. Created new recipe sets for tier four crafting benches, including electric, uh, carpentry bench, masonry bench, and chemistry bench with combined uh, multiple lower tier recipes into new machines. Fixed crafting bench recipes not appropriately accounting for stats, which reduce resource costs. Added several recipes to the, to the carpentry bench that will fit theme home construction from the crafting table to, and player crafting. So basically you can use gold or platinum for composite paste. And as you can see, the decrease in electronics as well, as we mentioned before. Reduce player crafting speed be more in line with benches. Decrease graphic speed of stone, concrete, mortar, and pestle recipes and herbalism. And of course, added the text to when the loading is complete for the intro video, when you can skip it. Fix broken arrow. <laughs> Fix several gaps in the terrain, which there were several around. Wild squash now actually um, are in the desert bomb. Remove some instances of trees placed inside of mountains. Fixed issue where rivers could flicker in certain light conditions. Fixed issue with some problematic dropship locations. Fixed several caves that were missing resource deposits and other cave functionality. Fixed some caves not using their biome appropriate assets. Fixed visual issues caused by ambient collision on foliage at certain distances. Improved both visuals and performance on some rock assets. Improved performance of Blanier Shader. Fixed issue causing players to be incorrectly flagged. It's inside a cave at a specific location. Lots of us know where that was. Look at this. It even sounds like I'm in a cave. Improved performance of desert rocks. Fish are now properly spawning in correct bodies of water. Improved visuals of distant terrain of out on outposts. Added more sand to the desert. Improved shadow performance in caves. Improved collisions for some cave rocks to reduce instances where it couldn't reach the entirety of some mineral deposits, basically making all mineral deposits mineable fully, hopefully, and improved the performance of in-game map screen. It was a little bit laggy. 
So as you can see, guys, that's basically everything that they added in this week's content update. Hopefully we'll have some new Icarus content coming for you soon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff if you like what you've seen. And tell me how you're liking these update videos. I might keep doing them. I might not. I haven't decided yet. Guys, so sorry about not having any more content. Icarus is kind of stale right now, not to lie. Um, right now we're currently running into issues of what we should do next. So let me know in the comments down below, what would you like to actually see next? I'd love to do it. We'll see you next time. Peace.